until people know just as much about cybersecurity as they do about looking both ways before they cross the street, then it's still going to be a problem. Hi, and welcome back to Road Trip Nation's channel. I'm Jenny, and today we're talking about an awesome career path for people who love working with computers and solving problems, cybersecurity. We're gonna explore a common career path into cybersecurity and talk through helpful info like what kind of salary you can expect, what kinds of educational paths you can take, and how you can get started in the field. This is part of a broader series that explores all kinds of different industries connected to your interests. So make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. Let's get into it. If you're into computers and love the idea of working in a fast moving, constantly evolving field, cybersecurity might be the field for you. Cybersecurity is all about protecting computers, networks, programs, and data. The world is totally reliant on technology. And at a time when all of our info is online, we need passionate people to protect that information. So this is a field where you can basically be a superhero, warding off malware threats and keeping data safe. Just FYI, the title security analyst is kind of a catch-all we're gonna use for entry-level cybersecurity and information security jobs. Information security analyst is actually the job title you'll most commonly see used on job postings across America right now. But some other similar job titles include security analyst, cybersecurity analyst, SOC analyst, IT security analyst, systems analyst, incident analyst, network security analyst, cool, all kinds of analysts. The huge variation in job titles is because there are so many different systems and technologies you can learn and protect from job to job. Take it from Christina Murillo. She's the VP of Technology and Information Risk at Morgan Stanley. There are so many niche areas, right? You're gonna hear about red team, blue team. You're gonna hear about, you know, incident response. You're gonna hear about identity and access management, maybe or IT security, compliance, governance, risk. I'm a subject matter expert in one piece of the pie, but I'm like, oh my God, every time I, you know, I, I have a, a lot of friends that are security researchers and stuff, so every time I learn about another piece of the pie, I'm like, encryption? Okay, yeah, let's go, let's do that. <laughs> but no matter which title or path you take, there are similar steps you can take to get a solid foundation in this field. And there are lots of similarities in your goals and day-to-day -day work. Here's how a variety of people in information and cybersecurity roles describes their jobs. I am a information security professional here at Microsoft. So what that means is I help secure data and services in the Microsoft Cloud. It's a lot like being a detective, actually. Cool. And the more, <laughs> the more detective like you are, the better. My guys don't physically identify the malware and make our product, you know, detective. My guys go looking for the, where did it come from? Who is distributing it? How do we stop them? How do we stop the entire industry that's, that's going against us? If you were to boil it down to a concept, it's curiosity. It drives the black hat side of things. So, you know, I want to know how to break into this for my financial benefit. So I'm going to research it. I'm going to, you know, get some testing up. I'm going to try and break it. I'm going to do these, you know, proof of concept and then I'm going to execute. Same way, white hat, you know, I want to know how to protect this stuff, so I got to break into it to figure it out. And, you know, so we'll set up tests, we'll proof of concept, and then we'll actually execute from the reverse end. Security research is aligned more with, like, actually investigating and finding new vulnerabilities. But the scary part is you're now hoping that someone else has secured this product properly. Right, right. I think for the most part we know, you know, many things are insecure, um, you know, despite who we purchase them from. So I think it's great to have researchers actually looking for these issues and then being able to tell the companies, say, hey, this is the problem, you can fix this. For security analysts, the average salary is $99,730 a year. The cybersecurity industry is obviously growing really fast and paying well. And right now, there are more jobs than there are people to fill them. Projected job growth over the next 10 years is higher than average. With so many companies and schools going remote last year, cybercrime rocketed and is expected to stay a major threat in the future. That's why we need more people to get out there and help protect our data. Seriously, listen to security intelligence response engineer, Ben Brown. Our lives are becoming so digitally connected and so much more of things that we wouldn't even think would be connected. Our, you know, our clothing, our toaster, uh, you know, everything in our house is now being brought online and is now a huge attack vector. If you're interested in cybersecurity, how can you get started in the field? 
Most security analysts recommend you get a bachelor's degree before you enter their field of work. Bachelor's degrees in computer science are common, but more and more schools are actually beginning to offer degrees specifically in cybersecurity or information security. Another huge thing employers are looking for? Certifications. Labor market analytics firm MC says a CISSP or CISP certification is one of the top things employers are currently looking for on job postings for security analysts. Some other certifications that are in high demand include GIAC, CISM, CISA, and Security Plus. If you're considering cybersecurity, but don't want to commit to a full-on degree or certification yet, there are plenty of online classes where you can dip your toe into this world. There's lots of communities out there that will help you learn about malware analysis and about threats and stuff like that. There's lots of websites. I mean, right now is the perfect time because 15 years ago, there was nothing. There is a lot you can learn, like just from you know, checking out the internet. There are options outside of you know, just the traditional education. There are like free resources. Cybrary, they are doing like certification as if you were in the classroom and they just recorded it. It's free. Outside of school, there are also tons of extracurriculars you can do to get exposed to cybersecurity, like competitions and conferences. A lot of schools will have uh, white hat clubs or white hat researcher clubs, something like that, that do capture the flag competitions. Capture the flag competitions really run you through the paces of getting used to the sorts of things you'll see in the wild. Uh, and you actually get a feel for the tools that you're gonna have to use in the field. Go find a DEF CON group and get involved. Find a 2600 group, find an OWASP group. Um, go find out what your local communities are doing. And then go to your local hacking conferences, go to local security conferences, you know, you're, um, and you, you just gotta get involved and network. And even once your foot's in the door, this is a field where lifelong learning is key. You've got to stay on top of new technology and new vulnerabilities. The criminals keep evolving and we need to continue to stay on top. And there's always something different. Somebody in uh, Japan is seeing something we've never seen before, or we'll get a new piece of counterfeit coming out of Germany. Who knows what it might be, but there's, it's, it's bringing those scenarios to the group and thinking about, okay, how, how do we answer this particular problem? It's one of actually the easiest fields to get a late start in because everything that anyone knew three years ago <laughs> is, you know, it's constantly evolving. Once you have your foundational knowledge down, there's some really cool options you can explore, like working as a penetration tester. Pen testers are basically like ethical hackers. They put digital systems to the test, try to find everything that can possibly go wrong, and then help get those weaknesses eliminated before the bad guys exploit them. I was never a, a creator, I was always a breaker. We have the opportunity to play with the latest, greatest technology. I mean, we're not, we're not just testing web applications, we test everything from passenger aircraft to video games to humans. I mean, you know, sort of our mantra is, if you can build it, we can break it. Here's another career that could open up to you even further down the road, Chief Security Officer. Cybersecurity has become so important that many companies have added a C-suite level job to oversee security and privacy. So if you're seriously interested in cybersecurity and want to make this your lifelong work, you can aspire to become a Chief Security Officer like Windows Snyder. I'm really proud of the work I did in privacy at Apple. Trying to keep the data in control of the user and um, out of Apple's reach. The work I was doing at Apple is very personal. Like I feel like especially the mobile devices are so personal. Um, Absolutely. So giving people the tools to be in control of their privacy, for me, it feels worthwhile. As you can see, cybersecurity is something that touches our everyday lives. And its importance is only going to grow over the next several years as we share and store more and more information on devices. So if you're interested in problem solving and love anything to do with technology, becoming a security analyst could be your chance to use your skills and interests to make a serious difference in the world. There's always something new that's interesting around security. It's not going to stagnate anytime soon. I think that one of the things that has always sort of invigorated my passion for security testing, penetration testing, and all of that is, it's a community of people that don't take no for an answer. Just because you're told something is a certain way doesn't mean it is. I have a calling, I think, to perfect, protect people. That's why I like working at Microsoft, is I could do that at a very large scale. 
and that means a lot to me on a personal level. If you think you might want to go into cybersecurity, hopefully one of these stories got you thinking of all the possibilities for your future. Let us know by giving this video a thumbs up.